On a tiny peninsula in northern Costa Rica, a unique environment and a time-honored lifestyle come together to yield the world's healthiest, longest-lived people. For nine months, our team of scientists and media specialists studied them and brought their secrets alive. Number one, Chorotega factor. Modern Nicoyans are heavily influenced by the indigenous Chorotega who are relatively free of stress. Their diet of live fortified corn and beans may be the best longevity combination the world has ever known. Number two, hard water. Nicoya water has the country's highest calcium content, perhaps explaining strong bones and fewer hip fractures. Number three, family focus. Centenarians tend to live as a couple, with children or grandchildren, or with other family members from whom they get support. Number four, light dinner. Eating fewer calories is one of the surest ways to add years to your life. Nicoya's strategy was to eat a light dinner early in the evening. Number five, dry climate. Nicoya is the driest part of Costa Rica. In dry climates, food doesn't spoil as quickly, the sun is more intense, people get fewer respiratory diseases and more vitamin D. Number six, social network. Centenarians get frequent visits from neighbors, they know how to listen, laugh, and appreciate what they have. Number seven, work. Centenarians seem to have enjoyed physical work all of their lives. They have found joy in everyday chores. Number eight, Plan de Vida. Successful centenarians have a strong sense of purpose. They feel needed and want to contribute to a greater good. I'm never going to forget this trip. I, I, it's been unbelievable. It's been remarkable. And I, I think that I'll be thinking about some of the people that we've met, Panchita in particular, um, for the rest of my life. It's, it, they're inspiring. One of the most important things we learned in the Koya Peninsula is to think positive. We think that positivity can help to keep our health good. I think this experience has changed my life because I'm going to remember now to wake up and be thankful for everything that I have. Well, as soon as I go home, I will take a vacation that will last for the rest of my life. So I probably I will live longer. The longevity is a treasure and the population has to keep it, but also to protect it. You see that there is a progressive invasion of other way of living. And I hope the people here will react and will protect themselves, will protect their longevity for the future because they have to give their children this treasure. Science has not figured out how we can turn back our body's clock, but we can all get more good years out of life and life out of our years. The answers lie with the time-honored practices of the world's longest-lived people. These are the centenarians we've met in the Blue Zone. Exploring the world's longest-lived cultures can change our lives. Their stories can move us, motivate us. All we need to do is to take the time to listen. Live large. Living longer, better. Blue Zones. <laughs>